What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm super excited to bring you my product research strategy for TikTok ads. Now, a ton of people have hit me up saying that they're going to start TikTok ads due to the video series tutorial that I released on it. So that's awesome. And today I'm going to be showing you how I do product research. This is definitely way different than how I do it for Facebook ads or really any traditional advertising platform. So really hope you guys take a lot of value out of this video and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so first let's go over what you should be looking for when you try to find TikTok products. Now, I do wanna say that I don't think that I'm necessarily qualified to give you specific criteria just because I've only tested like eight or nine products on TikTok, I ended up having like three or four of those that's a winner. So I think that's a pretty good ratio, but I definitely don't have the amount of experience just as, as far as volume goes to tell you exactly what works with TikTok ads. Now, I will tell you what I've found to work so far as far as what kind of products that you can scale to well into the four figures a day in profit. Number one, ideally you wanna have a product price below $40. That means that the majority of the people on the platform can probably at least somewhat afford your product, which is definitely good and allows you to scale. Another thing is having a target age between 13 and 25 is ideal just because that's where the majority of TikTok's users are. Another thing is that the product should be very eye-catching. This is super, super important on TikTok just because people are literally just scrolling through that dopamine, 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 and having something that catches their eyes essential if you want them to stop and actually watch your ad. So the last thing is that right now, small products are ideal. Um, you may be watching this months down the line, but currently we're going through tons of shipping issues due to COVID-19, and shipping prices have basically quadrupled from China to the United States. So if you do have a smaller product than you know, having the, your shipping price go from 50 cents to $2, is probably not going to kill you. But if you have a larger product and you had a shipping price go from $5 to $20, you know, that's really going to mess up your margins. Now, again, I want to say that this criteria isn't make or break. I'm selling a product pretty well that has a target market of above 25 and also a product price of above $40. However, I'm really running into issues scaling that product because my audience is just smaller and it's just tough because my frequency is so high and my ads aren't converting as well anymore. So I definitely want to say by no means is this make or break as far as if the product falls into each of these categories. However, I would say that it does have to be at least eye catching and ideally you do want to find a product that falls in between these criteria. That's what three of four of my winners are currently doing. So, you know, Obviously a 75% winner rate is, uh, is pretty decent. All right, so now I wanna show you guys how I find products for TikTok ads. Now, I'm using a website that's called AdSpy. AdSpy is a pretty expensive software. However, I do have an affiliate link for a free trial that I'm going to leave in the description below. I definitely, definitely recommend that you use that. You get like a thousand free views or something. Um, and it's just a no brainer because it's such a powerful tool. Now. It's really, really basic, honestly, what I do for product research. This is just showing you Facebook ads and Instagram ads. So for example, you can just search a niche like dog. After you search the niche, you're gonna come up with a ton of ads. And all that you're gonna do is sort by likes so that the most successful ads come out on top. Change the media type to video and then make sure that you're only doing ads that were ran in the United States in addition, you're probably going to want to change your button to shop now. So that's just a bunch of e-commerce stores and um, you should be good to go after that. So you can basically just scroll down and find tons of dog products that were scaled extremely high. And then once one of these products catches your eye, that's probably around the time that you should just go ahead and test it. Like for example, this product really catches my eye. It's like a, it's a light up dog collar, I guess. And I think that that's something that's very like, um, very eye catching at least. It almost has an element of virality to it. So this is definitely a product that I would consider testing on TikTok. From there, I'm gonna wanna go to AliExpress and then also the websites that are selling these. 
and basically just see what their margins are. Generally, I try to find products that have at least a 3x markup, or if it's a higher ticket product, then at least a $20 profit margin. You can basically just keep doing this with different niches and finding tons of products that people scale to the moon with Facebook ads, and then go ahead and transfer that product over to TikTok, and you're probably going to have a lot of success. Now, if you don't want to sell old saturated products, then you definitely don't have to. Trending products can also work insanely well with TikTok ads. The best way to find trending products is one of two ways. Number one is going on droppoint.site. Now, it's low-key a sketchy website, but you can find a ton of trending products from ads that are currently running. Like, for example, this ad was last seen two hours ago, so that lets you know that the product is still running. I'm actually not signed in right now, so I can't view the ad, but normally you would basically just click on this, get to watch the video, and you just found the product. Same here with this, same here with this. All these ads are still running, and they were currently seen the very day that you're on drop point. The second method that I use to find trending products basically is kind of a trick that you can do to make Facebook and Instagram show you tons of drop shipping products. Now, the way that you do this is essentially just scrolling through your newsfeed until you can find a drop shipping product. Unfortunately, I was not able to, but normally drop shipping ads are pretty easy to spot if you are, you know, just in the drop shipping space. So, once you find the ad, just go ahead and add the product to your cart after clicking shop now and then just exit out of the website. Continue to do this on basically every single dropshipping ad that you see, and your newsfeed is just going to be full of dropshipping ads. From there, basically just take every single one of those websites and then write them down on a spreadsheet, and then go through each of those websites and try to find their winning products. All right, so there is a way to do this very easily. After you write down the Shopify store's domain, basically all that you gotta do is paste all of this text on the other side of the domain. And essentially what that's going to do is just show you all of their winning products from the order in which they sold the most. So it's a super, super powerful tool. It can be blocked and it is on most really big websites, but not all of them and it's definitely worth a shot. All right, so once you find a product, you really have two choices. One of those choices is what I kind of prefer to do, and that's just ordering the product because it's already basically validated just because it worked on Facebook, and then just go ahead and recording my own videos. The biggest advantage here is that you're able to record 16 by nine ratio videos, which is like the TikTok that I mentioned, and it looks a lot better and performs a lot better in my experience. You can also choose to just download ads from AdSpy or other sources and essentially just compile them into a video that you can use to test on TikTok. And essentially the biggest advantage here is that you're not wasting money if a product ends up not working on TikTok and you don't have to order the product, record ads, and go through all that trouble for a product that may or may not work. Now, there's definitely some things to be aware of here as far as like copyright issues and stuff like that goes. So definitely be sure that you're careful if you use that strategy but um, basically, if you are going to be doing that, then all you gotta do is make like a one by one a square video and then put it inside of a 16 by nine ratio that has like blurred borders on the top and bottom. That's generally what I normally do. I use InShot to do that and it performs pretty well, just not near as good as the nine by 16 ratio that we went over previously. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you got a ton of value out of it. And if there's any other videos that I'm able to make, whether it has to do with TikTok ads or drop shipping or entrepreneurship in general, then definitely let me know in the comments and I would love to help you guys out and make some new content. So thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.